the sorrows that I have. This is the last time I'm going to try to call it Chris. I ain't saying nothing. This is the last time. Understand, this is the last time my family is coming out of this. I, I may came in one way, but I'm going to come out a different way. This is the last time. This is the last time I'm going to let the devil control and take over my life. This is the last time. This is the last time. Job. As we always visit Job, as we went to Job's house, we now left Job's house. Job is saying, I know that my Redeemer liveth. How many of us have been through something in life when we know that God lives? Because if God had not lived, we would not still be standing. I can't hear about it. But we have to understand that God is going to put us through a test that only He knew that we would be able to withstand. Huh? Yeah. To the point that He's going to use and He's going to take something valuable. Something special, something to the magnitude that you have to understand, God, why is this and why am I going through so much with the someone and the something I love? You gotta understand that God is gonna put you through a test. There is a difference between temptation and a test. You gotta understand, Joseph, although he slay me, God shall I trust him. He wasn't talking about the enemy, he was talking about God, although slavery still shall I trust them. You're going to be tried on every measure. Your marriage is going to be tried. Your children is going to be tried. Your faith in God is going to be tried. The enemy is not after you, women of God, men of God. The enemy is after your faith. And if the enemy can knock the faith from out of you, then you have nothing. But I wish I had somebody to understand when you lose and when you feel like you're about to lose something so close to you, here come God stepping in the right time. I know that my people living. This is the last time. You gotta understand the book of Job is so significant with this scripture that in about 25 times Job is related and Job is similar to us compared to contrast to Christ. You gotta understand when Job's body was taken through that problem tribulation, that was the same thing that happened to Jesus. You ain't saying I heard about it. He was wounded for us, yes. He was bruised. The Bible says he was bruised for our iniquities and the chastisement of our peace was upon his shoulders. God is carrying you right now. To the point that he had to come down from heaven. He had to come down from the majestic side and come down from his divinity and step into the ministry and show you that I am God. How many of us know we got a rock to stand? That rock is Christ. Can I have somebody to stand on their feet and start speaking things into existence? My wife has come out of this. My healing is coming today. I'm not going to wait for the preacher to give me a word. I'm going to start living and speaking a word. No matter how many stand to this. Said, 
You can still lose a person, they can still be alive. Y'all been to the same for me. Y'all ain't talking about you. You can be with a person so long and they can still be dead while being alive. And the reason why he lost his wife, because his wife did not want to be bothered with him no more, because he started looking bad. And guess what? He had no more money. No, the curse, God. Yeah, I missed that. He had no more money. The Bible said Job was a rich man that put God for riches, but he had no more money. And when you have no more money, you see how many women stay with you now. Y'all ain't talking back to me here. Y'all ain't talking back to me here. Let me just cut the music down. I want the viewers to understand what you want. Let's see how many women will be with you when you have nothing. That's the key. If you have nothing, she's with you and still with you, then you got something. But if you're. Y'all ain't talking back to me here. Y'all ain't talking back to me here. Let me just and Coco Chanel Manalusa and all the fancy restaurants, the Peter Luca, the steak restaurant, the crab shanty that I like to go to a city island and, 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 and all those fancy restaurants, but she can't take you there no Let's see if it's, it's still true love. So Job said, y'all missed that, y'all ain't paying attention. She said, why don't you just curse God and die? First you want me to curse God, then it's why you want me to die? She wanted, his, she wanted her husband to die. Yeah. So when she could go down the block to go meet the other person that got 40 acres in the pool. The Bible said, I'm not adding that in the Bible. I'm just saying, why else would a woman want her husband to die? Oh God. Curse she said, curse God and die. And the reason why she said, curse God and die, because she knew if he cursed God, then God would take him out of same God of today. And God, I'm not going to lie, God has shown us so much mercy because if we were living back in those days, we would be dead right where we stand. Yeah. For even speaking blasphemous, we y'all ain't talking about you. Right. Y'all looking at me for me. We would be dead right where we stand. The, the people that do all this type of stuff in the world today, that do wickedness, God is sparing them. Yes. Yes. You may say this person will wicked his whole life. Guess what? God is sparing them. Yes. Just because of God, the person didn't die yet, don't mean he's not going to. First and foremost, everyone's going to die. The Bible said that it's pointing to a man that he should die. Then after that, follow the judgment. So we all going to hell when we die. Y'all missed that. Wake up. Hell is the grave. Sheol. Sheol is translated to grave. We all 